Next, on this special edition of Project Pitch It, we feature the next generation of Wisconsin entrepreneurs. These high school students will present their innovative ideas to the moguls. He's a natural star. This is the time to launch that product. You're going to be a difference maker in this world. How can he compete against the big boys in this space? Jerry Gendusa, the former CEO of MTech, is now the co-founder of Stuck, providing breakthrough strategies for businesses. Jerry is the author of Get Unstuck. He is passionate about creating hope and opportunities. Joanne Sabir is the co-founder of the Sherman Phoenix, an entrepreneurial hub for small businesses. She works with American Family Insurance to revitalize Wisconsin communities. If you heard one call, that's all, you know David Gruber, founder of Gruber Law Offices. The Gruber family generously supports numerous organizations and charitable causes throughout Wisconsin. Peg Ann is the former CEO of Empire Manufacturing and supports her community by making connections and breaking barriers to help individuals achieve their dreams. This is Project Pitch It. The average high school student has the same level of anxiety as a psychiatric patient in the early 1950s. Hi everyone, my name is Denali and I am the CEO and brains behind Yellow Flower. Yellow Flower is an advocacy company that provides products to students, teens, and adults who are prone to stress and anxiety. Our products include stress relieving fidgets like this Koosh ball, coping skill cards that are great tools to make sure you're using healthy coping skills, and communication cards, which are great ways for teens and students to communicate to a trusted adult. All of these products can be found in both our mini and regular size exhale boxes. Our mini exhale box is $17 and our regular size is $28. We've already started to collaborate with Verona Area School District, and because of our gracious customers and our three for one pledge, we've been able to donate seven boxes to their elementary schools and their high schools. I named my company Yellow Flower as a reminder of that we can always learn and grow. So I hope you will help me build my company to its greatest potential so we can help as many people as possible find their healthy headspace. So hey, wanna come grow with me? This is awesome. Wonderful. I've been told that one in five children under the age of 18 have some type of mental health issue, whether it be panic disorders, anxiety. Can you give us a little bit of the genesis or the background of where your product idea came from? Yeah, so in eighth grade for me, I was diagnosed with GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder. Um, I realized even just like going outside, being around people talking, gave me a lot of anxiety. I, my knees would start shaking, my teeth would start chattering, and I'd feel this burning feeling in my stomach. And I realized um, at my eighth grade graduation, I looked around to the kids and I saw there a ton of the kids' knees bumping up and down and them shivering. And it made me realize that anxiety and depression is really common in teenage and it's like gone through the roof now with the 2020 pandemic and all that. So I decided I wanted to make this business so that other kids like me can live their life and go to school without being so worried about the stress and anxiety. Where did you learn so much about entrepreneurship? Yeah, so at school I was made aware of this big opportunity called CEOs of Tomorrow. They were reach out to all kinds of youth in the Madison area and they teach us all about entrepreneurship and they help you build your business. Can you tell us a little bit more about those products and how you came up with those really, really cool ideas? Yeah, of course. So, um, a lot of times for mental health, for coping skills, Teens our age go to unhealthy coping skills. So that might be self-harm, that might be isolating themselves. So with my cards, for each emotion, I have one that says I'm sad, I'm angry, and I'm overwhelmed. And on each card, it tells you really good coping skills you can use. So like call a friend, draw a picture. And sometimes when you're in those big emotions, you're not thinking about, ooh, what can I do to calm down? So having the actual physical card in your hand and you're reading it will help you calm down. Um, another thing I did is I know in school, 
schools, a lot of times when students are stressed out, um, they act out. They don't ask for help, but they might look frustrated or they might be yelling or they might not be focusing and teachers might think they're just being a bad child, but maybe they're having a rough day. So I made these cards and it says, can we talk? I'm having a rough day or I need space. And a lot of times people aren't able to vocalize what they're feeling. So this way the students can just hand this to a teacher, put it on a teacher's desk or hand it to a parent. And that way they don't have the confrontation part of it, but they can still communicate, hey, I'm just not having the best day today. Uh, can we do this or that to help me um, succeed? That's well, terrific. Congratulations on all your success so far. And it looks like you've got a lot of opportunities to scale and grow your company. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank you. My, my wife and I are co-chairs of the Mental and Behavioral Health Initiative at Children's of Wisconsin. And there is such a need and such an awareness today for kids that have these mental health issues. She nailed it. I'm gonna personally buy 100 boxes. That's awesome. Wow. Um, I think it's so important that younger people are talking about this. And a lot of people, older people, have not wanted to talk about it when their kids have problems or they have a problem. But if we st all start communicating about this at a much younger age, there won't be such a stigma around it. And starting it at a young age, I think is ideal. Launch is a school-based program that allows kids to explore their interests and passions, to meet industry needs, develop industry-driven skills and credentials, we do about 30 to 40 projects a year for Milwaukee Tool. So an employee has an idea about how to make their company better. We supply a student team of three to four that helps those ideas get a little bit more life under them. It's neat to see our kids graduate and then come back and get hired by the companies we're working with. That's really neat. Coming up, customized kicks that will have you walking like a king. Later, these entrepreneurs are developing a line of innovative aromatherapy products. Hello everyone. My name is Cody Shaney, and I'm the CEO and founder of King's Customs. Before I continue, let me ask you, how many of you would like to own a pair of shoes that only you have? Awesome. Why not? King's Customs is a footwear design company that can take any ordinary shoe and transform it to fit our clients' imagination. Today's world is all about individuality and trying to stand out. So I created this business to allow others to express themselves through unique and wearable artwork. I began my journey in 2018 when I started as a hobby and I transformed it into a business after doing shoes for NBA rookie Tyrese Halliburton. Each pair is 100% hand painted by me using a specialized acrylic paint that is both durable and water resistant. King's Customs stands out by using one of one custom shoes while others create their shoes more than once and reuse their designs. A few of my highlights include being in the USA Today newspaper as well as a few other local newspapers including the Oshkosh Northwestern, the Appleton Post Crescent, and the Armour Herald. As another highlight of mine is painting shoes for many professional athletes including NBA athletes, NFL athletes and MLB athletes. Now moguls, are you ready to stand out and step into a one-of-a-kind shoe? Thank yeah, you for absolutely. listening and I'd be glad to take any of your you questions now. You are speaking now. my language. Yes sir. <laughs> I tell you, I am Cody and I, somebody, I don't know who, got me these shoes. My shoes spoke to me so I started this business called MTech. It was in the aerospace industry over an 18 year period. I sold that business. I got stuck myself, and now I help other people get unstuck, and you captured it all within the shoe. So from my heart, I thank you so much for what you did for me. Of course. I was given a little bit about each one of you, and from the information I was given, I decided to personalize them for you guys. These shoes that you gave me are unbelievable. Ah, it's all about those are Milwaukee. so cool. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Milwaukee Brewers, it says, one call, that's all on the back. When I walk around, now American family, when I walk around with these, I'm gonna have a thousand people ask me where I got them, and I'll tell them. That's what I like to hear. Now, Cody, it seems like you have a really neat niche with um, sports franchises, professional sports franchises. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So I'm assuming you're up in the Oshkosh area. Maybe you met Tyrese and through him, 
He introduced you to some other NBA players because you really can expand upon that market and they probably pay a high premium for this. Yes, so Tyrese, he lived only 20 minutes away from me and I was able to message him before he went to Iowa State for college. So it was actually before he was in the NBA. He ended up making it to the NBA within two years of Iowa State basketball. And from there, I met more NBA players that he has introduced me to. And it's kind of just escalated from after meeting him. I cannot, I don't have my sneakers in front of me, but I cannot wait. And I to do open have them. a pair for you. I get to see them in real time. This is exciting. Oh, perfection. Those are so cool. Customized, upcycle. I love it. Great work. Thank you. So from a pricing standpoint, how much do you charge for this and how much revenue have you gotten so far? Well, it's similar to a tattoo artist or any other artist. It can be, I've done shoes for $20 where it's just they want one little thing on the shoe and I've done shoes that are at $600 that take me multiple days to work on. It all depends on the complexity and the design, so it's, it's individualized for each pair. When you go to college, are you going to be in fine arts or are you going to be in business? I'm leaning towards majoring in business. I haven't narrowed it down completely, but I, want to, I, I think I want to major in business. I've always thought about marketing as well, but I'm not completely sure. And Cody, if you have been able to charge up to $600 per shoe, who needs college? You're an entrepreneur right now. <laughs> you sound like all my family members. Well, not my parents, my brothers. Well, we need to put you in touch with Peter Fagan, who used to be a mogul on Project Pitch It, and he's the president of the Bucks, and I'm sure David Gruber has some connections there. That'd be awesome. We can do that. Thank you. Absolutely. Congratulations, Cody. Fabulous. Thank you. In all sincerity, don't you think you could teach some of those college professors a little bit about business and entrepreneurialism and having a brand and, and having a launch client such as Tyrese Halliburton? Wired foresight, right? He knew he looked at the traject trajectory of the player. He didn't go after an NBA player. So this is, there's a multiple levels of brilliance on his behalf. Tough to teach imagination and talent though. You usually can't. Coming up, these entrepreneurs identified a problem and are solving it with their unique essential oils. Hello, moguls. I'm Brianna Taylor. And I'm Karina Soto. And we're the creators of Where Here. Where Here is an aromatherapy oil subscription box. Each aroma scent correlates with a 10 minute meditation from promoting positivity, reducing stress, and encouraging healthy sleeping patterns. Although we're only two teens, there's a problem we're trying to bring awareness to. Right now, the U.S. Census Bureau has stated that a third of Americans show signs of clinical depression and anxiety, and that has recently amplified due to COVID-19. We created a subscription box so you could have fun activities to look forward to while doing at home. We also have individual bottles for one-time purchases with access to our meditations. Now, if you could all take out your aromatherapy oils and do a small breathing exercise with us. And now, when you take the oil, we recommend that you put it into the center of your wrist and rub it in between the two. Now take the oil, smell it, and take a deep breath in, taking all the positive energy, and exhale, ridding of negative thinking. Now take another deep breath in, thinking of all positive energy, and exhale, ridding of all negative thinking. The reason why we wanted to center our product around meditation is that so people are more aware of how calming they are and how doing a couple seconds of breathing exercises can lighten up your day. Also, our goal for our future meditations are to be in Spanish as well. A lot of times we buy items like shoes or clothes, but we never buy things for our mind. And that's why we created We're Here, to remember that no matter what's going on in the world, we are here. Karina and Brienne, I love the concept of a subscription box, and you're touching on an area that's, a, that's an area of need. How did you come up with this idea? Um, we actually started our product in Teens Grow Greens, which is a nine-month internship in Milwaukee. And we had to create a product in one month. During this time um, was COVID time and I actually had COVID and I was sitting at home and I still had to come up with this product and I was like, what can I use? And at the time, my friend Karina is perfect at doing these meditations and she was really helping me calm down. And we did these meditations over Zoom and we're like, how can this be available for more people? And how do you currently distribute the product? Um, we have actually not launched yet. We want our product to be um, very presentable and we feel we could get better boxes and we can have more um, experienced people to help us really 
produce the product. We have a website and we have um, where we could accept payments, but we just don't want to fully launch until we can well, be we proud of it more. Yes. Well, you came up with this product at an awesome time. I'm sorry you had to experience COVID, but um, this is something positive that came out of your life after experiencing COVID, and you're going to be helping a lot of people. Good for you guys. That's, that's what we yeah, have. That's the plan. <laughs> Well, we applaud you for everything that you've done so far, and it looks like there's a lot of different paths and directions you can go. Yes, congrats. Thank you. You did a great <laughs> job. Okay, thank thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> well, it seems that there's a theme right now with our youth, and it has to do with mental and behavioral health and staying positive during some challenging times. And individuals that really, truly want to make a difference, and that to me is really what our inspiration and hope is because it's all about our youth and it's about entrepreneurship taking us forward. Absolutely, um, at American Family Insurance we were looking at, we were launching STEM programming for young people but realized that the reoccurring issues were really mental health, social emotional support was required. So this is a, a theme in community, our young folks are really struggling but it's definitely um, inspiring to see our young folks solving for such a critical need. Now the moguls decide which award will best help the entrepreneurs. The Project Pitch It Award is $1,500. The Jedusa Award is presented by the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center at UW-Milwaukee. It includes access to the center's powerful resources for entrepreneurs and state-of-the-art collaboration space. The American Family Insurance Award will include pairing an entrepreneur with an American family leader to support their advancement in all aspects of business. Our future is in a lot better shape than people realize. These are really humble kids and they're really, they're really interested in helping each other so they're pretty selfless. So, I mean, anything we could do to help and in some cases, as we discussed, sometimes it just may mean us getting out of the way because they really seem interested in helping each other. Yeah, the more we can encourage and inspire and, and promote and push a little bit, for teens to help other teens and doing it through entrepreneurship, through these different ideas. And if they have this purpose and this passion which comes from a story that they have, they're that much more compelled to take action. Agreed, we're just here to, to channel and lift the desires of their capable hearts, brilliant young folks. You know, we have cash awards and $1,500 and $1,000 and $500. And Joanne, perhaps there's an opportunity to throw in some mentorship together and to, to work between AmFam and the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center to, to assess all three of these together. I surely, I surely would love to be involved in that. Is that something that you'd like to support? Absolutely, I welcome that opportunity. Let's do it. Can I ask this question while we're doing this? It's hard to differentiate between 1,500 and 1,000 or 500 if we're on TV. I mean, these kids are all massive winners. And I mean, would it be a problem to give all of them like 1,500 or all of them 1,000 or something like that? I, I, I vote for that. I think that's the real deal. There's no surprises other than the kids are gonna be surprised when we give out the awards because it's gonna be $1,500 each with mentorship. And the best part is, Jerry, you're gonna explain that we were going to give different levels, but yes. all three of them were so damn good, Jer, that you're gonna tell them that. Well, I think, no, I think you're the one no, that typically no, does sir. the wrap up. No, sir. No, you're the guy, you're the guy, man. <laughs> you're, you're my agent. You're gonna talk about their maturity and their delivery and their poise and their performance. I'm just taking notes, David, and it's, it's best to come right from your mouth. And how humble they are, and so I, you know, you're, 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 you're the man. I could not do so it. So don't I'm tell him what I'm, to do, David. I'm the high, hey, Jer, I'm, I'm the hired help, baby. <laughs> Next, the moguls present cash and awards to the entrepreneurs. Kids helping other kids, young adults that are entrepreneurs, they truly are our hope and inspiration. And we've seen three wonderful entrepreneurial endeavors here, Yellow Flower, King's Customs, and we're here. Two of the three are dealing with mental and behavioral health issues, and one is capitalizing on a niche for customized shoes. All three have promised to grow, 
and the ability to scale. And I'm happy to be presenting you with $1,500. Thank, Thank you. you so much. This is so exciting. Oh I really am so happy that you enjoyed our product, and I can't wait for you guys to see we're here at your homes. This is the best opportunity, and I appreciate Project Pitch It so much. This prepared me for so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. King's Customs, Cody. This is your product, and I'm proud of it already. We were talking among ourselves, and your maturity, your demeanor, your delivery, your obvious talent, the fact that you were very humble, so on behalf of everybody, everybody at Project Picture, we congratulate you and we would like to give you a $1,500 cash award. So great luck in the future. Wow. I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you. And you're an artist and it's amazing how far you've gone dealing with NBA players and professionals already. So, I mean, it's amazing what you've accomplished. Yeah, thank you. Yellow flower, we were all simply humbled by your brilliance and ability to innovate around a critical need. So with that, it is my pleasure to provide you with the Project Pitch It $1,500 award. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I'm so grateful and I'm so excited to build my business even bigger with all of this. Um, thank you, CEOs of Tomorrow, and all of you guys. This was amazing. Um, Yellow Flower is going to grow so much from this, and I'm ready to help some other kids like myself. I'm so happy. Thank nice. you. Yep, keep, keep up the good work. <laughs> thank you. Bye, guys. When we think of humility, we think of passion and we think of drive, this personifies these three entrepreneurial endeavors. Not only are they each getting $1,500 in cash, Joanne and the group from AmFam, and myself and the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center are gonna provide mentorship in some capacity for all three of these aspiring entrepreneurial ideas. Congratulations to all of you.